Hey, so this is a trick that I found in a minimal audio blog written a few years ago by a producer named Frequent. It's no longer online, so I can't link it or anything like that. But um, I just thought I'd share the trick. I don't know. Uh, so to understand this trick real quick, you kind of need to understand what phase cancellation is. Uh, so the phenomenon of phase cancellation is when two sound waves with opposite phases collide and they cancel each other out. Uh, so you can see here in this kick drum, we've actually got the phase of the signal sort of demonstrated here. So how it goes down, how it goes up. If I was to duplicate this and play both of them at the same time, it will just basically double in volume and amplitude. But you can flip the phase of one of these using Ableton's utility. So if I grab Ableton's utility, hit the left right here. I'm just going to freeze and flatten this so I can actually demonstrate what's going on. Yeah. You can see now that it's doing the exact opposite of what it was doing before. So instead of going up here, it's now going down. Instead of going down here, it's now going up here. So it's done a complete 180 degree rotation um, to what it was before. If I play these both by themselves, it should sound fine. But if I play them both together, we get no signal. And that's because the two sound waves have collided into each other and they've cancelled each other out. Really cool phenomenon. I think it's really interesting how it works. Um, but yeah, that's phase cancellation in a nutshell. This particular technique uses phase cancellation and gates to open up a whole new world of different sort of processing ideas. Uh, if you don't know how gates work, basically it allows sound to pass through once it reaches a certain le level and that level is determined by the threshold. I'm probably doing the worst explanation of this, but basically I'll show you what I mean. So you can see this blue line here. This is essentially the threshold and this will determine what sound is actually gonna pass through the gate. So I'll play the break how it sounded before. And now with the gate, you can even see it visually represented in this gate here, but like this threshold is determining when the sound um, how much how much of the sound is actually passing through and being played while it mutes the rest and when i lower this threshold you'll sort of hear that it's letting more of the full sound actually pass through the gate and that's basically gates in a nutshell you can also control things like the hold the release um, the noise floor as well but i'm not going to go into that um cool so i'm just going to group that uh, just hitting Command-G, Control-G, and I'm just going to macro a few things I know that I would want to control here. So, yeah, we'll go for the threshold return, the hold, and the release. So I've just uh, right-clicked on these different dials here, and I've set them to a macro, and now we can like sort of control these parameters in this rack here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to group that and duplicate it. So I'm going to call this the gated layer. I call this body layer. At the moment, it's not the body layer, but you'll see why in a sec. So uh, all we're getting right now is the gated signal, nothing too special. But what we can do is I'm going to make sure you keep these um, settings the same actually in terms of the threshold and stuff, because we're going to macro all these the same thing. So this is our gated layer and macroing all this stuff. And if I go to the body layer, I'm going to macro the exact same things here. Hold and release. So now, like, when we control this parameter, it's controlling both gates here. Pretty cool. Right, so this is where phase cancellation comes into play. If I go to this body layer and I grab a utility here, and I flip the phase just before this body, the gate in this body layer, from what we understand now we should be getting no signal through yeah science is really cool that way but um yeah it's so cool but yeah basically it's just cancelled each other out which you know is cool and all but we're not getting any sound now and it's like what's the point in all this well if i go here um there's like this little sort of show hide chain list it's like a little selector you can sort of see the tiny little dots on the left and the um lines on the right we can create a chain here and this is letting the full signal of the break just travel through. 
but because we've like cancelled out um the gate uh the gated signal and stuff like that we get the full signal but if i solo this body layer that's everything that isn't going into the gate and then i've got the gated layer as well so now we can process these independently of each other and affect them separately so i'm going to grab a delay here and just put it on this gated layer that might sound really cool And we can use the threshold, like the hold release, like we can sort of control these parameters. Might be really cool to go to this uh, body layer and I don't know, uh, let's grab a disperser or something. Let's put a disperser on this body layer here. Um, yeah, and you can just stack a whole bunch of processing on it. I'm not going to do it. Um, and to sort of demonstrate um, this idea is like when you start like sort of controlling all these individual macros here, it can get really, really fun. I'm just going to grab Ableton's randomizer so it just does it for me because I'm really lazy. Yeah, opens up a whole world of different processing and stuff like that. Um, you don't have to do this with just drums as well. I find that sometimes on bass sounds it can get really really cool as well um, Yeah, maybe one of these trench basses or something like that So before now Yeah, um I hope you learned something from that. Uh, I hope I explained it well. I can't link the minimal audio uh, blog post because it's no longer online, but I will link minimal audio and frequent uh, frequency YouTube channel because I think frequent's amazing, super talented producer and just such a wealth of knowledge. But um, yeah, cheers.